Our next inductee um, is not here today, but um, accepting the award on his behalf is his wife, Patrice Lyons. And uh, he was the co-designer of the TCP IP protocols and the architecture of the internet, Robert Kahn. Greetings, I see so many familiar faces and so many memories over the years. Uh, Bob drove me to the airport Friday and he presented me with a little statement to make to convey his wishes. But uh, I personally would like to thank the Internet Society for the great honor that they're doing to Bob and recognizing his contributions. And I, I think this is such an important endeavor that you've undertaken and I applaud your efforts here. So thank you so much. Uh, just a personal note, I have followed the evolution of, you now first the ARPANET, and then they had the two packet networks, the packet radio, packet satellite, and then the interconnection through the TCP IP protocol. And Bob often got the same question you did, Steve. You know, did you envision back then everything that happened now? And he used to give a very serious answer at first. And then after a while, he started to joke about, you know, oh, sure, we could see all this, absolutely. Uh, so then he went and uh, establishing, actually founding the Internet Society uh, that, uh, to, in the hopes of socializing and making the Internet more accessible to people. But then, of course, there was the Internet Engineering Task Force. And uh, when he left government and event joined him as vice president as, at the Corporation for National Research Initiatives, um, they undertook to stand up the IETF secretariat to actually have a formal way to move the internet forward. And uh, then you got into the commercialization of the internet and the expansion to other countries. So many things, so many tales to tell. Um, Bob couldn't make it today. Uh, I talked to him just before I came, and if he could teleport here, I mean, that's technology for the future. Um, he would have been here this evening, but he continues to pursue his vision of improving connectivity among people and communications environments that enable that. Uh, he's recently uh, developing, over the last years, his digital object architecture, which is a much more flexible way of managing information on the Internet. And he is actually working with uh, the National Archives in Washington. And tomorrow morning, there's going to be a large gathering there, and he's the chair of the technical group to try to improve their record management structures. So when he heard about the honor, it was hard for him to just say, no, I'm sorry, uh, you're having this meeting, but I, I'm your chair, but I can't come. So he, he sends his regrets. Uh, but he specifically wanted me to acknowledge certain, certain people in his life. First, he wanted to thank you, Larry, Larry Roberts, uh, for the role you played in getting him into networking on both the national and international stage. Uh, he always remembered that if you hadn't gotten him involved at that time, his career plan after he had gone to VBNN to work on uh, the ARPANET and do the specification for the ARPANET was to go back to MIT and pursue an academic career because that had been his goal. But you lured him into DARPA. And DARPA, of course, uh, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, played a very big role in, in starting all this. Very big. He also wanted to acknowledge the friendship of so many others in this group that ISAC is honoring today. And given the limited time, let me just mention a few. Ben Cerf, with whom he has found a personal and technical kinship early on, and with whom he worked so closely on the internet and internet-related matters for so many years. And Danny Cohn, who was here yesterday with his son, Dakota, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that he's okay. He, uh, but he wanted to thank Danny, whose imagination and spirit were a continual source of inspiration and energy for innovation. Steve Crocker, whom he worked with on the early ARPANET developments. And Peter Kirstein, P Peter's here, I think, I saw him coming in. Peter's here? Well, Peter Kirstein, Louis Pouzin, I saw Louis yesterday, and Len Kleinrock, uh, whose contributions are well known 
and whose friendship, among other things, has stood the test of time. He would probably want to cite everyone in the room and congratulate all of them, since their efforts were so essential to the development of the ARPANET and or the internet, because a lot of people played roles on both sides. And on his behalf, he wanted me to thank you all. <laughs>